What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be doing another episode of the No Money Spent Squad in NBA 2K22, my team lads. So, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We upload more my team content than anywhere else. And yeah, if you guys just want to learn about the game, my team, and how to play it, especially for how to play it, No Money Spent, is the best place for that. So, first of all, Community Hub. What gem color is the highest? I mean, I, I do have a pink diamond. Give me that one token. I hate the way it's like, oh, type in this locker code, but there's like no copy and paste button. But um, yeah, so. Got a Clippers statement uniform, Clippers current arena. And we got a diamond shoe pack. That is for level 32. So we are only currently 7,000 or so XP away from Kelly Chapuka. And Kelly's pretty good. And Kelly is pretty good. Um, in terms of season agendas, we have... We've completed Gobert and Griffin, so I'm just gonna sell. I'm just gonna sell Blake. So my collection. Search Blake. Oh well, I'll search arenas. How do I reset? There we go. Literally selling Blake because I don't need him. Is Blake good enough to make my team? Yes. Blake is good enough to make my team. There's. I just don't think he's gonna go up in price. Uh, if we need to complete T Ross. To get his challenges done. Honestly, I'm gonna sell Karis Levert. He's not needed yet. Go bear. I don't mind Go bear. I'm just gonna sell him by the other Go bear. I actually did complete his XP. And I'm not gonna be using my main team anytime soon, so I'm just looking through players that I can I can afford to sell. Has he gone up in price at all? No, he's still like 1500 and 1500 for a giant body. I'm just not I'm just not selling that. There's no point yet because I do think that he goes up eventually in price. There's going to be there's going to be a reason why we need Pacers players because all these guys are post spin. All these guys can post spin. So any of these like if we do get a Monday reward that needs Pacers Pacers players or needs like uh, Trailblazers players, those guys are going to go way up. So no real point in getting rid of them, but I just want to check what price Gobert is. Is there any point in getting rid of him or just keep him? Gobert is actually good. I'm actually I'm pleasantly surprised that Rudy Gobert is actually good in game. So this one here. Do I buy the graded one? I just want to check what the uh, XP total is on the other one. So season agendas, signature plus, ten rebounds and one block. That's super easy. That is super, super easy. So I'm just going to buy the other Gobert, honestly. Just want to see what Gobert is going for. Color Ruby. I think I'm just going to honestly sell those cards for Larry Bird. So his Ruby right now is going for... It's going for like 13, 1400, which is not the worst price in the world. Okay, so he's going for 1600. So search Oc or my auctions. I actually sent him back to the collection. Because I can do this. Position. Um, or not center. I can search for Rudy Gobert. I get the other version of Rudy Gobert. So I'm going to complete him. Just want to check. Does the enabled work? Yep. So I just want to see. Can I get him for like 3 or 4k? Can I get him for like 2 or 3k? Okay, so he's under 3k. That's not bad at all. That is not bad. Considering I can still get like 1500 for the other one. Okay, 2.4 seems a bit high. Like, there has to be a bunch of Rudy Gobert's coming up. So 2.750. Okay, I might be able to get him for cheaper because it seems the auction, the AH is just glitched. Yeah, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Let's just see. If this lets me scroll all the way to the 4-hour mark, we're good. We're good. We're all good. Because you can see here, he's like less than 2,000 MT. It's just the auction has is bugged. The auction house is super, super bugged, so that's why people are out here bidding like two, two six hundred, like two three hundred plus on him, is purely because the auction house is bugged right now, and you can't search for players properly. I think two K, I think it's intentional. Two K are trying to stop sniping because a lot of the time, if you don't look past a certain price, like it was for those some of those cards, it was like fifteen hundred. So like I, I might be able to get him for seventeen hundred because you can't search for him specifically. I uh, see, I got him for seventeen hundred. So auction outcomes. Add him to the squad. Let's go to my auctions and let's get the other go bear in. So like that isn't kind of a it's not necessarily an easy way, but 
Like, you can make a little bit of that. Like, it'll be the same with Terran Taras. So I just want to buy the other Terran Taras, honestly. Um, because I think now it could be a decent time to snipe them. So for Terran Taras, or for Rudy Gobert, let me just put him up for... What, I buy the other one for 1700 and put him up for... 1350 You should sell quick enough for that. Blake is literally... I don't think there's much of a difference between the two Blake Griffin cards. So Blake, I just want to see the price of Blake. Gee, screw it. I think I might just do the same thing with Blake. I might just do the exact same thing with Blake and get the cheap Blake. Okay, so I obviously put him up for a little bit cheap, but again, like it's like 400 empty I lost there. Let me just check what the expense of Blake is, just for XP reasons. Um, Amethyst. Enabled. Okay, so his bids are ending at like 31k. And I just want to see what his actual price is, because there are glitch. It is quite glitchy. So, because you can't actually snipe, you literally have to scroll. 40k is... They're showing up at that. Um, okay, he's actually... You can actually snipe that. So, 31,400 is not really what we want to pay for Blake. Yeah, I'm not paying that for that Blake, so... See what the other one's going for. Did we pay like 20... I think we paid in around 22,000 for him. So, it's like we're, we're losing tax on him. That's fine. Like 2,000 MP, 2000 MT for 1,000 XP is fine. Um, it's not the biggest deal in the world. So, again, we sell him. We're suddenly sitting on like 190k MT. I just don't see there being any point in keeping Cars Levert. Like, I don't really like Cars Levert that much. So, let's sell him for like 21. 21,250, I guess. So Jeff Malone actually didn't sell the last time I tried to put him up. He might actually be able to sell now. So Jeff Malone could be a could be a shout. Again, I tried selling him at around the 3k mark and he wouldn't sell. So you see 2950 is where he's ending at. I don't understand why Jeff Malone's so expensive. But again, it's like 2450. So I look again, I don't really care about Wizards players, so I'm just going to chuck him up at like 3,000 maybe? No, actually, 2450 is not, is not selling. So, it's one two two fifty two two fifty. Jeff Malone will sell when Jeff Malone sells, which is fine, because he's not that much of a sought-after card. So, we get Karis Levert. So, Karis Levert, let's see what price he is. He was, like, 4 or 5K. I think I bought him, at like, 5K. I definitely overpaid for the sake of the video. But I think he's just going to keep dropping a price. I don't see him holding value. So, he's 4 200. I just want to check, did I get his XP done? So, prime time two. Yeah, I got liver. It's done. So, just let me go and chuck in Karis Levert. Okay, Blake sold. Okay, I'm losing probably about 1500 on Levert. Not the biggest deal in the world. Again, I got a video out of it. For the sake of 1500 MT, I'll make that back. So, we kind of want to keep around the 200k MT mark. Like, that is really where we want to stay. Like, I know we're obviously not going to hit that. We're going to make a few a few purchases here and there. But, like, if, as long as every time there's a pa new pack drop that we get back to around the 200k, then I'm in good shape. Like, I can buy a few. As long as I can keep buying a few of the cheap players and stay in around 200, we're good. Okay, so I'm going to wait for a promo. Wait for uh, a little bit later to open the promo packs. Going to wait for a little bit later. But base league pack. Honestly, badges are, badges are key here. Because the more badges you have in your collection, the better it's going to be. Like, come close to 250k time. Um, again, I don't send all to my auctions, I guess, and apply to, my pet applies quite a lot of TTO for me. That's the whole thing with me and TTO is like, I've, once I've stopped caring about my record, it's actually kind of been okay because getting tokens and stuff is not bad at all. Like when you're looking at like the lower, lower tiers, like, cause you get quite a lot of tokens. Is there anything else that I'm, okay, diamond shoe pack. Let's see what I got for this. See what you get in the diamond shoe pack. This is one level below Kelly. Hopefully we can get Kelly in like the next day or two. Okay, so you literally... Oh my god, you only get... In a diamond shoe pack, you don't get a diamond boost. Okay, this better be a diamond boost. Nope. Nope. I got post control. <laughs> I got freaking post control. Um. Alright, at least you got one diamond shoe boost. I'm pretty sure this was from TTO. Let's go. Please be three-pointer. Please be three-pointer. Uh, that's not good. Because a lot of the time, badges mean everything for post-talking. 
Okay, come on. Deluxe League Award Pack. Give me something good. Give me something good right here, 2K. Come on. Come on. You gave me Rex Chapman. He's been good in 2K before. I don't think he's good in this one. Come on, give me you miss much expert. Give me silver miss much expert. Silver quick first step. Bronze Neal. You know what? The bronze Neal threat is actually a pretty decent badge. Okay, and now. Now the showcase card of the episode. We completed, we completed TT Online in order to get this card, or TT Offline. So Ron Boone, Ron Boone and Will Chamber are like the only cards we haven't got. We played all 300 games to get David Thompson. We're the only people to have got, like David Thompson's actually one of the rare cards. He's not the only people playing this mode. But uh, let's, let's have a look to see, nope. See what he's all about. So he's six foot four. He's got oh no half badges. I wish they had given all these guys like one at least one or two half badges. He's got posterizer, pogo, slittery, limitless take off goal, fast switch goal, interceptor, giant slayer, bailout, quick first step on silver. Okay, I like that. Volume shooter, unstrippable on bronze. He's got 77 three ball, 95 driving dunk, 82 ball handle, 85 block. Really, really good speed and really good lateral quickness. So he's actually going to be a good defender. Uh, he is actually going to be a pretty decent defender. What, what defensive badges does he have? So he's got a Hustler. He's got Ankle Braces. He's a Tireless Fender, Awful Pass, Interceptor, Pick Dodger, Teardropper. Pogo. Okay, they didn't give him any, like, Ball Stripper or anything. Which isn't great. But he's actually going to be a half-decent defender. He kind of reminds me of, again, he very much... He, he kind of reminds me of, like, a Dwayne Wade type player. Let's see how he moves. Yeah, he gets slash dribbles. That release is good. Okay, why anyone says that release is good? Okay, let's just see how he moves. He kind of has weird stutter or stutter running. Bad. Okay, his between legs is fine. Bursting is okay. He can kind of get open. Obviously, once he's a, uh, once he gets ahead of steam going to the basket with that 95 driving dunk, he's gonna be very good. But he doesn't feel like 91 speed. Like just running around him, his release is not bad. His release is not bad at all. I know I'm struggling there. He does not, just honestly, just running around with him, he does not feel that fast. Like he, he doesn't move well. He doesn't, like, change direction well at all. Like, some guys just, they feel super fast. Like, LaMelo Ball doesn't have, doesn't have the same speed rating as him. But LaMelo, honestly, just, he just feels faster. So it's a hard one to explain. Like, he may be quite fast, but he just doesn't feel it. And he's also a little bit undersized. Although being undersized could actually be great for an on-ball defender. If he had some defensive badges, he'd be a really good on-ball defender. Because he's 6'4", which means that if someone's using like a Chris Paul mismatch expert, it doesn't trigger. Um, He's also got really, really good lateral. The big thing with this card is like, will you be able to get into position to dunk? And dunking gets punched quite a lot. Like I can see him being a very good roll guy in a screen roll with, these, with this dunking. That's kind of where I see him being his best like... His best situations as a role guy. But, like, is he any better than Duncan Robinson? Like, that's the real question. Like, I get it. He's way better on defense. But, like, the question really is, does he make my team? Like, he really... It's just comparing him to Daryl Griffith. Okay, so he greened right there. Like, whether he makes my team or not is to, is really a comparison between him and Daryl Griffith. Blake Griffin probably... Blake Griffin definitely would make my team. But, again, like, I'm not playing... Oh, everything's sold. I'm surprised people actually want the Jeff Malone. Um... Okay, so we're sitting on 194k, so again, we're doing pretty well. But, like, if I'm running, like, my actual team, because we got Daryl Griffith here, and most of the time, Kuzi ends up guarding ball. But it's, like, really, it's it's the Daryl Griffith or David Thompson, and I think Daryl Griffith has a little bit over him. Like, in terms of badges, Griffith's got those three, although only one of those three really matters since Limitless Takeoff. Half badges, but it's, like, plus seven three ball. Better ball handling, a way better steal rating. He's quite a bit slower and worse rebounder and worse laterally, but he gets some better badges. So like that's a that is a real tough one. And Daryl Griffith versus David Thompson, my backup two guard. Because I think Lamelo with Walt work perfectly. Because I run through Lamelo. Walt is if you run through your two guard, Walt is the literal best point guard in the game. Like he is the best like cone point guard in the game because he just sticks on defense unbelievably well and he's one of the best defenders in the game. But you gotta be run through your two guard. I'm trying to look at my team right here. Like, if I was to try play competitively right now, running Dre is tough. 
Running Draymond is tough. But again, I'm not playing, planning on playing comp anytime soon. So you're going to start playing to 100. Again, we're, we're losing quite a few games in this. And I couldn't care less. We've lost a lot trying to like do stuff for videos. Not a big deal at all. So let me put in... I can use Padded or Worthy. I'm going to go Worthy. Worthy. But if I start chucking bricks at Worthy, then it's, uh, it's just bad on me. But it's like I played against someone yesterday. Someone who uh, realized within about one, pos two, three possessions that I was only scoring with Blake. And he like quadruple team Blake. And I'm like, oh, this doesn't work for a video. I think I went down 19 to four. Brought back to 19, uh, 14 and lost or something. Good pass, David Thompson. But it's like, that's where half of these losses come from. Okay, this guy's using three Utah Jazz players. Oh, he's going for Griffith. I'm sorry, I'm not giving you the win, but... I'm, I, I do apologize. I am not giving you the win here with these Jazz players. Good defense. That's a great shot. If you can if you can abuse me in the post, Rudy Gobert, then you're just the damn best. I still can't believe, like, when I was playing with the Jazz players, I didn't lose to anybody running, like, God squads against me with my three Jazz players. But the one guy that I lost to was a dude who was running... Um, it was a dude who was running the uh, three Jazz players. I just couldn't deal with his Donovan Mitchell hit like three whites. I mean, I was like, okay, this is GG's. Oh yeah, oh yeah, meter, let's go. Stop celebrating. We need actually need some stops here. We need some stops. He's eating me alive, this Gobert. Gobert is completely eating me alive. Okay, that's fine. We can switch. Nope. Eighty something block does not matter. That's a great finish there by Gobert. Man, I am getting cooked. Fair play to him. I am getting cooked by Rudy Gobert. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Dunk meter. I hate it when anytime there's a contest, your dunk meter just says very light. Could it just say contested miss? Like, if you try to dunk meter on somebody, it will literally say very light every single time. This guy is just scoring layups that I think are contested and aren't over me. Like, so much... You um, you try to use the meter, like you know you'll be timing it right, and it'll just flash up and say very late. Chase down, chase down. You've got like an eighty-something block. Let's go. We run, we run, we run. Dot. Catch that green. Big white, big white. David Thompson. Let's go. He's not bad. Like David Thompson versus Griffith is a legitimate, especially because I don't like. Yeah, if you badge up Griffith, you badge up Griffith. I'm not badging him again. I'm not playing this game competitively. I'm not badging up Griffith anytime soon. How did he get that with square? Run, get up, get up, get up, run. Run, 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 run. No chase down animation there. How? Okay, that's green. Nope. I tried to pass it in that. I tried to freaking pass it in that. Rudy Gobert's right there. He's just running to the freaking basket. Not a chance. Okay, run. It was like he's just running in a straight line to the basket. Green, come on. Oh, we got caught in a weird animate. Got weird load up. Yeah, caught with a load up. Just get that block. Go grab it, go grab it, go grab it, go grab it. We run, we run, we run, we run, we run. We run, there's no one there to block him. And that's a good layup, let's go. That's what he's been doing. He's just been taking those semi-contested layups. I didn't think that those shots went in, but apparently they do. Chase down, great defense. Big board. Let's go, Wordy, we run. Dot. Chicken. We blew it. We got so lucky there. Like we're out here shooting whites and they're going in. Okay, come back, chase down. Good block, Darius Moss. And run worthy, run worthy, run worthy. And that is finally a green. It's about time we shot a green with uh, David Thompson in this game. Come on. Come on, overplay and drop back. Terrible shot. David Thompson's interior defense is actually really good for a small green. Mick, be better. I should have just taken the two there, honestly. Okay, so I'm going to win this game. Again, we're 19 to 10 up. We've kind of figured out how to, like, well, deal with Rudy Gobert. Never play against someone this offensively good. It's very early. That is, that is without doubt, a very early. Like, that is a mess up by me. 
Like, I'll admit it when I'm the one that messes up most of the time. And, like, that was... The very late are literally just contests. That, um, very early was on me. I don't see the advantage to using Dunk Meter. Like, holding square seems to get you the exact same animations. Like, I've gotten more contacts by holding square than I have from, uh, using the meter. Man, Rudy Gobert gets glitchy layups. And we just conceded two extra points purely because I was just stubborn. I wanted to use the Dunk Meter. There we go. Good job there. Bye. No, Mick, you idiot. I do apologize. Well, I don't. It's nothing to do. I apologize for. Like, I lose this game. I get banned. I don't care. But, like, have you seen? There's loads of situations where people are having people quit on them and they're still getting banned. Like, it is the dumbest. Like, 2K literally. The, it, the cycle of 2K is there is no prop. There is a, like, minor, a very minor thing. Like, people boosting is such a minor thing. Like, that is something that, two, that always happens with 2K. Is there's, like, really, really, like, minor boosting problem. A couple of hundred people in the world. Okay, so you can see 21. Is that true, too? Yeah. A couple of hundred people in the world boost to get some rewards. Minor problem. Really minor problem. And in 2K, create 15 new problems trying to solve, trying to, like, quote, unquote, fix that minor problem. Like, if 2K never touched, people are going to boost in every video game. People are going to boost in every video game. That is a fact of life. Especially in my team, where it's like, look, it's not a big deal. Hey, like, people boosting in my team is not a big problem. It is genuinely not a big problem. And I'm someone who, like, gets some of the rewards. Yes, it is an inconvenience to some players. But, like, there is no way to stop people from boosting in my team. There isn't. They tried to bring an S... They brought an SBMM to do it. It didn't work. They've tried to do everything to stop boosting. It Nothing's worked. And in the end, what ended up happening was now, was then suddenly people that were winning were winning games and were not getting wins. So if someone quit on you at zero, if someone uh, saw your team was too good and quit on you, like if, if I just dunked that there, this guy saw David Thompson and was like, okay, I'm not playing against this guy because he's got a diamond David Thompson and quit. Even at 2-0 up, I would either not get a, I would either get a loss or it wouldn't count. So that was what ended up happening. That's good. That was what ended up happening. Because 2K tried to stop boosting. It's like, no, that's... Boosting still happened. And now 2K made it so that if you disconnect... If you quit or disconnect from three games in a row... Or if you quit three games in a row, you um, you got banned. But also, that meant people just started dashboarding. So it didn't matter. Because all they had to do was um, close up instead of quitting the game. And then 2K tried to make it so that people, if they... um. If they disconnect at all, they get banned for three games. If they disconnect for three games at all, they get banned. So if someone quits on them three times in a row, they were getting banned for getting quits. Like, it was one of the... Like, it's 2K trying to fix a very minor problem and creating 17 new problems. TTO, problem. The the last... the Our 0, 0.0... Or not even 0, 0.0. It was nothing to do with the ball drops. There were a select few hundred people that were using the mode as their main method of getting MT instead of opening packs. Like, people were using the mode as their main method of MT instead of packs. So what did 2K do? No, no, let's let's break this mode. Let's break the mode because there's a couple of people that are using that won't open packs, and they're reasoning... F they're, and maybe if we stop them making MT, they'll open packs. No, that's not going to change anything. Like, people that aren't... Like, people like myself that are, don't, that are against packs are against packs. We're not gonna... Just because we can't make MT in-game does not gonna drive more of us to opening packs. Like, if you are somebody that is against packs, they don't realize it, like, a lot of people are just fully just against opening packs or they're kids. If you feel like you can't play the game without opening packs, people are just gonna give up the game. So it's like 2K literally, they try to fix some minor, quote, problems, some minor issues on their part, and they don't think things through. They're like, oh yeah, this stops this. It's like, Yes, but it, it does stop the problem, but it also, it stops the specific problem. It also creates new problems. And that is what, again, happened with this quitting game scenario. They tried to fix what something that was a, barely a problem. We just shot it. We got a freaking delay catch animation. And they end up uh, completely, completely breaking the game. They've had to change, they've had to tweak one that does four times in the last day. Because they've realized, yeah, there is no situation where banning people for disconnecting it or banning people for quitting games works out well because that's basically saying oh you have bad internet you're yeah you're just gonna keep getting banned you're gonna get banned for bad sportsmanship oh it's just 2k being 2k 2k doing 2k things like we all we've all come to expect it at this stage 
that we know 2k they don't have a breeze what's going on they do not have a breeze me make the freaking layup okay please oh my god how many whites are we gonna miss like normally you make a lot of whites in this mode we missed like seven wide open whites in a row i've never seen this many whites miss in this game mode before this guy's terrible though so we should be okay this guy is shockingly bad. We've just scored seven points because we can't make layups. We can't make open jumpers. Again, I'm not timing correctly, but I mean I'm wide open. I am wide open. I should be hitting these shots. He's going to freaking hit one with Zion, isn't he? Over there. Run. Apparently not. Apparently not. It's 2.3 to go. He's literally got a pass into a shot. Otherwise, it's nothing, Zion. There we go. Good defense. Shoot that. There we go. I get it to midi. We finally made a white. I'm happy about that. Okay, let's drop back. Let's drop back here. Steal. <gasps> Mick. I want to even say Mick. That was like an all 2K issue. That was an all 2K's problem. He's going to have to pass it somewhere. Jump. We're there. We're waiting. Terrible shots. His board. Yep my board run 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 he's left me open can we just not get hit with weird load ups after every before every shot he's tough to green with though um david thompson we can we just hit <laughs> i have never missed this many open threes before and everyone's a slight actually well to be fair one or two of them were earlys i don't ever expect to make them but like i've never missed this many slightlies in a row in my life before and he goes into 21 percent covered Mid-range shot. That's nowhere near close. Nowhere near time correctly. Dot. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? Finally. It's about damn time we scored with somebody. How we don't have 20. How we Again, we conceded 8 points. I understand conceding 8. But how is this game not 37-8 at this stage? Dude shooting 3s with Kevin McHale. And I'm struggling. And I'm struggling. Okay, get out of his way. Get out of there, Darius Moss. Give me that. It's not a seven. Even if it is, I should have been able to green that. Come on, Mick. Come on, Mick. This is pathetic. This is pathetic. Dot corner. Please green, Mick. Oh, thank you. Okay, two more shots to hit. And you can win. You've won this game. Steal. Run out. Oh my god. That's not a 25. I don't even care. Just do quit the game, please. Quit the game. Put me out of my misery. That was a... That was a horrific, horrific game of TTO. I was bad. I was very bad. There we go. Four tokens. This is the reason I don't care about these low boards. Is that you get a lot... Like... The four tokens slash seven tokens is so common on these low boards that I don't even mind losing really anymore. Okay, 200 MT. It is what it is. Like, we land anywhere 70% of the spots. We got 500 MT or we got four tokens. So that was would have been a pretty good game. But like, yeah, like you can see, I'm at 178 tokens. I have not locked in for any of the, uh, the agenda ones. That's another like 150, 200 tokens. I could get three pink diamonds if I wanted to. Three more pink diamonds. But I don't. I'm waiting for the start of season two. And then we're going to see what happens. So yeah. That's pretty much it, lines. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.